Mr. Never Lucky here, always lucky, and again, someone who loves to get sticky pre-flop, loves to see a flop. Jam, or a very good call. Yeah. I mean, let's hope he doesn't flop. Oh, no way. No way. Fucking hell. What is this? No! Guys, if I run into it again, uh, there's a knit that can't fold a shit. Uh, yeah, I, I can't call this in a million years. Just uh, never, ever, ever, ever quite a show as well. Like, I'm never. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so what I didn't realize is 150 big blinds deep here. I think I fold queens, to be honest. I, not today, though. Not today. We get him. What do I do? Do I just call? Do I min raise? What do I do? Because if he jams on me. I have the fold! <sighs> Finally! We get him. Because now I get to play like a monkey on drugs. <laughs> this is King's... King... Oh. Guys, he calls a full bet here. What? 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 Sorry, guys. You're joking. You're kidding me. Mr. Never Lucky here, always lucky. And again, someone who loves to get sticky pre flop, loves to see a flop. Um, this is so horrible. Because he has all the. <sighs> he has all the. All the sets basically i just probably have eight so i'm never really having i mean some maybe sixes sometimes but i'm gonna i'm definitely raising this one um if he jams i'll just fold just because i just don't believe in any bluffs here from him i i have more hands on him than anybody else and i've gone through <laughs> going through my database going through stuff yeah i guys i'm telling you now i'm i mean i'm i'm pretty confident that this is just just eight six is five the question is can i ever actually fold i don't think i fold in in theory i guess my queen's here but i yeah i i genuinely think this is just a set only um i'm just trying to think like will he ever just jam like flush draws here just know what i know because he has definitely has some i'm gonna call actually i talked myself into it and it's just uh yeah running into a set often oh oh fuck a very strong hand <laughs> It's a lot of outs for him. He has 40% nearly. Ooh. Finally. We get him. That one really stressed me out, to be honest. Like, more than it should. Just because it's... Uh, like, he has this, like, Mr. Never Lucky tag. But I'm telling you, like, fucking lucky fucker, this guy. <laughs> Not today, though. Not today. We get him. I'll stick on this table. I do have uh, Jackson, another table as well. And against pocket fives. Full betting here. Do we ever jam these positions with kings? Just full bet. Never folding, obviously, but sometimes we're going to run into aces. Queens. Okay, let's just hold. I mean, queens were terrible for me last time. I mean, let's hope he doesn't flop. Oh, no way. No way. Fucking hell. What is this? No! That's the second time now I got in really good. Queens versus tens, and now kings versus queens, and on both runouts I lose. This is insane. <laughs> guys, if I run into it again, uh, yeah. I mean, this is fine. This guy seems aggressive enough. So, yeah, I mean, just a cooler, but especially blind versus blind, hopefully. If he does call, he has queens or jacks, tens, nines. Okay, there's always hope. There's three aces in the deck. Boom, that's the first hold. Now we want to see one more. Yes, hold. Let's go. Finally. Right, now we suck out on someone. Amazing. <laughs> right, let's see this all in EV shut now. Let's see it close so we can get back to some normality. <laughs> yeah, wow, this was the best thing that's ever happened. Especially versus a knit that can't fold a shit. Um, I don't think he has that many jacks. He can have jacks sometimes. A king jack, king four maybe, I don't know, something like this. Could be a thing here, and then flush draws, but yeah, I'm just jamming versus knit here. Um, like I said, only losing to jacks. He does have jacks sometimes. Good luck. Oh, and of course quads, right? Like he has fours as well. <laughs> four, three, boom, get him. See, just like, just knitting around, just like. 
Yeah. Because now I get to play like a monkey on drugs. <laughs> and this kind of guy, just have to call this one. Fuck. Just aces, right, as well. This is a problem. <laughs> kind of sucks. Fuck, this is so sneaky. Uh, on the turn, I'll bet small and just hope he jams. If he has aces, he has aces, then good for him. Quite a quick call as well. Yeah. If I'm honest, now that he snap checks the ace on the turn, I really think this is aces, like, a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, it would just be, look, I would have cooled him on the flop and then he cools me on the turn, but yeah. Queens? What? That's ambitious. Hmm, I assume the money's going in. Uh, good luck, us. Okay, fair flip. Hold. Hold. Nice. Boom, let's go. Raise the turn. Yes, he's like super sticky. I wouldn't be surprised if he just like pocket tens, pocket nines here, but I'm just giving up now. Yeah, I, I, this big bet calling eights on the turn versus the check on the flop. I check so many strong hands on the flop. Um, but he can't help himself, so that's all fine. Oh, I really don't know. Maybe ace queen suited, but it's 40 bigs, right? I don't. This might be a dumb call, but yeah, especially the snap jam or a very good call then. Okay, let's keep it clean. <sighs> Too close for comfort, this one. Okay, flop middle set. Just for a small bet. Pretty obvious when I raise here, right? I think just calling. I think this is one that I might, if he goes like 20 something, I might just jam. I think this is enough. Um, yeah, 43 reason. I think it's fine because he'll always call like ace king or whatever. Uh, running into kings aces sometimes for sure. Um, but I may not win a stack on a club on the river or some bad rivers for him. So this doesn't make any sense though, right? Could jam some draws this way, queen 10, some jack 10. Uh -huh. Okay, wasn't expecting this one, but uh, do you want to make sure that he raises any any flush? Cause the check raise in the turn, running into jack sometimes, I guess. No way he has sevens, not calling the turn, so. Uh, this could be jacks a lot, but whatever. Ace three. No diamond. I mean, that's ambitious. It's an ambitious call. I mean, I like him having a three there, but no diamond, really? Like, what's it? Does he expect me to fold the nut flush? Into the call. Jam your aces, jacks, whatever, sir. What a luck box on the turn. Jam. 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 I'm calling for it. Let's go. We got the nuts. Yeah, he's got two pair. Nice. Uh, Just a lucky turn for us. Like, mega lucky. This is weird, because he yeah, definitely can have aces, but I'm not folding for this stack. Uh, stack to pot. So, yeah, good luck us, guys. He has aces quite a bit, and then some ace-king, um, and then maybe some ace-queen, but yeah. The check on the turn is the sneaky part, so, yeah. Aces, there's so many aces. Like, that check on the turn is just, like, super face-up. Let me show you the screen. Hmm, interesting. Do I go for the sneaky small bet again? I think I will. Ah, uh, that's a good part, like... Uh, that river really hurts. Ace Jack suited gets there. He still has some Ace Queen. I still think it's just too thin to value bet now. Yeah, it's a lot of still like Ace Jack. This might be a bit thin. Even like my my small bet on the turn is designed to keeping hands like Jacks as well. So like, this is the problem I'm having when I bet small and I'm trying to. Yeah, exactly. I I can't call this in a million years. Just. Uh, uh, yeah, can't call this ever. Just like never, ever, ever, ever call a show as well. Like I'm never, never calling that <laughs> in a million years. It's like these kinds of spots are really interesting versus like tighter players. Small blind is not so much because it, if if Sophie was in the big blind, I'd be much more concerned because intuitively like the hands you want to play from the small blind just, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so what I didn't realize is 150 big blinds deep here. I think I fold queens, to be honest. I, uh, yeah, I don't really have any... Uh, any issues folding here just because, yeah, 150 big blinds deep. Yeah, folding queens, even kings is tough, to be honest. But yeah, I'm just folding here. Like, 5-bet jamming 150 bigs. No, thank you. Okay, he's 3-betting pre enough. Blind versus blind 27 seems fine. So, uh, yeah, I've talked myself into a call. So, good luck us. Yes, king, that's the perfect outcome. So, yeah, let's just hold, I guess. Jack would have been nice. <laughs> nice, okay, so we hold. 
This is so stupid. Like, that ace makes it better, like, minimizing his ace X, but, like, small bet on the turn, now jam river? It's weird. Can I really fold a king here to this guy? Could just have jacks, tens, just could have any bullshit. He's recreational, right? Small on the flop, small on the turn, jams river. Oh, I really don't know. I'm gonna call this one, guys, I think. Ace queen, yeah. Okay. Just giving it to the recreational hurts, but <laughs> whatever. Ooh, shit. Um, I guess he's not folding. So if he has nines, fine, fair enough. Like if he has nines, that's whatever, but I just go for it here, I think. I don't think he's folding too often. Is he? Let's call actually. Keep in some bluffs. Let's hope he doesn't have jacks. Queens, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Nice donation. <laughs> Raising. After I overbet as well. Interesting. Basically revert. The nuts ish. I guess I'm expecting everyone to bet the flop here with their flushes. Or flush draws. What do I do now? I guess I check and do something. It's a good card for imposition. But yeah, maybe never getting paid. Just need someone to bet. It's quite a big bet though. <laughs> it is quite a big bet. Please don't jam. Please don't jam. I hate my life if you jam. The Jack of Spades calls. Nice. What did he have? Ace five. Oh wow, he had the rivered straight, the four three. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Such a nice river. I think he might just someone might just jam their nine. That'd be so amazing. If someone just jams now, that would be the play for sure. What the This is so strange, guys. What the hell do I do versus maniac here? What do I do? Do I just call? Do I min raise? What do I do? Because if he jams on me, I have to fold. Oh, uh, I think I'm calling and I guess we're chopping all the time. I guess he also has some ASX, maybe. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Talk about looking like a moron. And then here I go for the sneaky, sneaky. The sneaky, sneaky check back. Uh, oh, that's not a good river. 10-9 getting there. Diamonds getting there. I beat Queen Jack, which is quite nice. So I'm value betting my aces. I'm not too concerned about flushes, but yeah, okay, it folds anyway. And I know this freaking guy is gonna call, and I uh, just have to play post for, but uh, that's fine. Shit. <laughs> wow. Um, let me just think about this one. He so open for button flat from cut to, uh, from small blind. I raise and now he jams. I've got a call off, what, 56? I think I call, because this range is like, is Jack, is 10, random bullshits and pocket pairs. I'm calling this one, I don't... Yes. I mean, let's just not get cooled now. Hold. Hold. Yes, let's go. Thank you for the donation, friend here, Mr. Satin lad. Uh, calling, flopping a set would be great. Okay, decent board. Uh, okay, half pot looks very face up, but calling. I have all the six sevens, a sevens. No way you can double barrel, I don't think. I guess he'll bluff now on the river, uh, or go for some value. I'll check, and I, I'm losing sometimes, obviously five, sixes, whatever, but then winning against some random ASX, so let's check this one. Yeah, let's go.